The Catite Palace, Portuguese, Palacio do Catite, is an urban mansion in Rio de Janeiro's Flamengo neighborhood. Construction began in 1858 and ended in 1867. From 1897 to 1960, it was Brazil's presidential palace and the site of Gachulio Vargas' suicide. It now houses the Musu de República, Republic Museum, and a theater. The building was built as the residence of family of the Portuguese-born Brazilian coffee producer Antonio Clemente Pinto, Baron of Nova Friburgo, in the then capital of the Empire of Brazil. It was called the Palace of Largo Valdetaro and Palace of Nova Friburgo. With the design of German architect Carl Friedrich Gustav Weinelt, dated 1858, the work began with the demolition of the old house. The construction officially ended in 1866, but the finishing work still continued for over a decade. After the death of the Baron and the Baroness, their son Antonio Clemente Pinto Filio, the Count of São Clemente, sold the property in 1889, shortly before the proclamation of the Republic of Brazil, to an investors group, who founded the Companhia Grande Hotel Internacional. This development, however, did not succeed in turning the palace into a luxury hotel. Due to the economic crisis in the late 1880s and early 1890s, the venture went bankrupt, and its titles acquired by Councillor Francisco de Paula Merink. Five years later, Merink paid off debts to the Bank of Brazil. The seat of the executive branch of Brazil was the Itamarty Palace in Rio de Janeiro. In 1897, President Prudent de Moray became ill and Vice President Manuel Vitorino took office as interim. He acquired the Catite Palace and over there installed the seat of government. Officially, the palace was the seat of the federal government from 1897 until 1960, when the capital and the federal district were transferred to Brasilia. Various historical events happened in the palace halls, such as the death of President Afonso Pena in 1909, the signing of the Declaration of War against the German Empire and its allies in 1917, during World War I, the visit and hosting of Cardinal Eugenio Pacelli, the future Pope Pius XII, in 1934. Declaration of War against the Axis in World War II in 1942, Suicide of President Gachulio Vargas in 1954, with a shot in the heart, in his bedroom on the third floor of the palace, among others.